My name is Nick Nurburn, and I am a resident artist for the Southwest Minnesota Housing Partnership's Partnership Art Initiative, which is where they take artists to do community development work in and around the properties that the Southwest Minnesota Housing Partnership owns and operates. I'm working in uh, a place called the Grand Terrace Apartments. It's a housing complex with 48 units, um, one, two, and three bedrooms. It's on the edge of town by the interstate, and it's brand new. It's a crazy mix of people. It's people from Ethiopia who, you know, came from refugee camps. The dream is that we create a documentary portrait of what it's like to actually live in this place. But rather than being some sort of parachute journalist, come in, drop myself in, take photos of people and then leave, my proposal was to be useful to the people who live in the building. I want to make photos that actually matter to the people who live there. Another thing that sort of emerged through hanging out there is this after school kind of drop-in program. I kind of started with these kids. It's mainly families in the building. And the kids after school, I mean, that's how you get in with families. You hang out around someplace after school and kids come out and they want to talk to you. I've been giving them instant cameras, so like Polaroids, disposable cameras, and photo prompts. So I say, go take a photo of something secret that only you know about. Or go take a photo of heaven. Or go take a photo of somebody jumping in front of the building. Um, kind of like a scavenger hunt. And so then through that process, the kids get comfortable enough with the cameras that they're comfortable bringing their parents in front of the cameras with them. So the idea is to work with the kids enough to be comfortable having cameras around, having cameras in their faces. And in the end, we're making a documentary portrait, but along the way, everyone learns together how to do it themselves and how to make photos that actually mean something. Cameras are actually a good way to break the ice. People in the building have been getting to know each other through this program. Kids have gotten to be friends with neighbor kids in the building. Adults have gotten to know each other. I was surprised at how religious most everybody in the building is. Uh, Longtime residents and immigrants. Most of the people who've come from overseas, and there's a lot of them in the building, I mean, church is the main thing. And so one thing I know the Southwest Minnesota Housing Partnership has wanted to work on is transportation. So, hanging out at the building every single day, I see that the church vans come to the building to pick people up and take them to church. Every Wednesday, every Sunday, it's like clockwork. The kids sit there and wait for the church vans. I mean, it's like a, it's like a, you know, a thing people look forward to. And I told the housing partnership folks, like, work with the church vans. I mean, if you want to, if you want to meet people's transportation needs, if people don't have cars, do a program with them. That's the kind of thing you see hanging out there, you know, and just spending time. I want to make the work with people. I want to tell stories with people together. Enlarging the common life. The work is about enlarging the common life. That's why I'm here.